You see, this is the thing about aquaponics. It comes in all different forms of shapes and sizes, both indoor and outdoor, that you can do in any space that you're in. Home aquaponics, it's the best option you have. And indoors means definitely no pests. Let's have a look at a few different designs, hey? This is a super cheap option for indoor aquarium. Now in my case, I've got turtles that are actually powering this and providing the fertilizer, but you could be doing this and I do do this with aquariums as well, where you've got the water at the full level and you have fishes in there, but you know, turtles. <laughs> you need to make sure that you've got a mechanical filter, biological filter, and a veggie growing area. So we cover those in different videos, but the mechanical filter removes the solid waste. The biological filter converts ammonia, which is the fish or turtle waste, into a nitrite and then nitrate. And it is the nitrate that these plants use. So I just have a pump down the bottom here. I have an internal mechanical filter that moves the water around and picks up any of the waste. It's a separate thing. Uh, there are different ways of having a mechanical filter, but I have, let's see the pipe coming up here, pumps water into what we call the NFT tray, so some type of PVC piping. I have my lovely coriander growing there, but the biological filtration is in here as well. The water goes along the bottom of that NFT pipe. The roots are also there, and you can see that coriander that bok choy that is all going awesome water goes through and then drains out on the right hand side and comes down the bottom here and moving out very very simple uh, cheap indoors so I do have an indoor grow light it's not a bright one but it's one that works clearly works really really well look at the health of that bok choy yummy and look at that coriander or cilantro very simple indoor aquaponics I'm doing it with my turtles, but you could be doing it with any type of freshwater fish and any size aquarium. Check out the description to find some more information about aquaponics and how you can move forward and get this happening. What is aquaponics? It's actually one of the most sustainable ways of gardening that we can do now that grows food faster and uses less water. Small system, but you can have so much smaller inside and you can have so much bigger outside or in greenhouses or in glass houses or in pot houses there are so many options and that's what makes it perfect in any area seriously any area freezing cold really hot you can work around this and you can do it inside or outside and it's really sustainable in the sense of we're recycling the water so once we fill it up we're constantly using the water and the best part about it is we've made it into a form of an ecosystem so we're taking nature we're replicating nature and we're putting it into an ecosystem so into a man-made design and we're using fish that are constantly producing a type of fertilizer that our plants can use and with the system we have a filtration system to make sure that fertilizer that the fish are producing is able to be absorbed by the veggies so that's what happens in our filter part and what happens is the veggies will then filter the water for the fish. So it's a beautiful balance of everything that happens. The fish provide the fertilizer for the veggies and the veggies filter the water for the fish. What we can see is I've got my little fish tank and the water pumps up the pipe here and it comes into a mechanical filter, so which I need to clean today, which collects a lot of the solid waste. And then all of this stuff is the grow bed media. So it acts as two things. One, it is the home for the nitrifying bacteria so the good bacteria that converts the ammonia from fish waste into fertilizer for the veggies. And it's also some root, st root structure, root stability for the cu cucumber plant. So that is the grow bed. The water filters through the grow bed. Then that PVC pipe, it drains out of that and it comes down back into here. Now this is a real simple little system. I use two drums, both fully recycled. And when we come in here and we have a little look, you can see lots and lots of cucumbers. These are growing, they are doubling their size every day, which is now in an aquaponic system. All I did was rinse off the roots and then put them just literally, you can see I've just dumped the seedling into my little net cup, into my NFT system. 
So it's getting constant water, constant fertilizer from the fish, and we can see the fish tank is here, just a bathtub. I mean, that's how simple it is, just a bathtub. We have our biological filtration happening in a very messy area over here where the, where the parsley is. So that actually converts all of the fish waste into fertilizer for the veggies. And the water is then coming through and these bok choy are filtering the water for my fish and the water drops back down. So it's a pretty awesome little design, like concept, uh, completely recycling everything. And this is huge and amazing growth for only a couple of weeks. Um, I think it's about three weeks. So for three weeks, this is huge. It was mainly basil. I think I put nearly six punnets of basil. In. I've already harvested. Um, I've harvested four plants uh, a week ago as well. So it's doing awesome. And we can see I've also popped in. We've got some broccoli here. Uh, there's some spinach, some coriander. These have only just been added in the last few days. Some more broccoli up there some silver beet and that's a silver beet there so just running through the system again we've got the aquaculture tank and my system being an aquaculture tank the water comes out the bottom so all the solid waste from the fish comes out the bottom down the bottom here where my fingers are and I've got the the Y uh, joined there so I can do a quick drain, which was very helpful with the aqua pot. Sorry, with the um, when the grow bed was off because I had to do water exchanges, so I was able to open that valve, drop the water really quickly, and close it again. So that stays closed normally. The water will then come straight up into the solid separator, which spins around the solids sink, and then the water without the solids comes out that top pipe there and got, drops down into the sump and then we have our pumps here we have two pumps in the sump I've got my main pump down the bottom and then I've got a backup pump for if the power goes out then that that DC pump will kick in but this main pump takes the water back up and into the fish tank it's a fair bit different to a lot of people a lot of people have the solids coming out the top of their tank and into a solid separator or into the grow bed or into whatever they want to do whereas I have mine coming out the bottom um, as I've mentioned before being trained in aquaculture I'm used to working with aquaculture tanks and this has a tapered bottom so it's kind of like a funnel and we have a, what's called a riser in the middle of the fish tank which you won't be able to see you'll just be able to see that there's white in there you see that that white color just there that's what we call a riser and all of the water and solid waste will sink down through that. It's got holes all around the outside as well as on the, the top. So the solids will sink down. And because it's the tank itself has that funnel at the bottom, all of the solid waste naturally will go down. It swells around with the current flow. As you can see, there is a small little flow in there from how the water is coming back into there. So with that, that swirling, that means that the water can then easily go and follow this path into the solid separator and then into the sump. And then back up again. And I use the grow bed as that overflow so that the fish tank water doesn't get any higher than, than that pretty much. And um, the water goes into the grow bed. See I've got just a little bit of fine matting up the back corner there just to catch any of the at the moment I've run out of my normal pellets so I've had to be blending it up so I've got some fine dust basically in there so I'm catching that so it doesn't go into the grow bed and the water comes down through and then out this outlet here and into the sump. The sump catches everything and then pumps the water back into the fish tank. Pretty cool huh?